So we want to get more on this from our expert, Dr. Michi Okako, now the physicist at the City University of New York. We've been talking through to all through this crisis. And I want to put up a map, Dr. Okako, of what's happening right now at the reactors and get you to sum it up. We've got reactor number four where that spent fuel went on fire again overnight. They're going to try to use a water cannon to put that out. We saw reactor three. There's still a meltdown going on there. They had to turn the helicopter back from that reactor. We know that reactor two, there was a con the compromise of the containment facility and reactor one, there's a concern it may be happening there now as well. So you said the situation was dire yesterday and it seems to have gotten even worse. It's gotten worse. We're talking about workers coming into the reactor perhaps as a suicide mission and we may, ha may have to abandon ship. Once you abandon ship, it is inevitable that you will have meltdowns in all three of the reactors, units one, two, and three. And then the final stage of a meltdown is called breach of containment. We have cracks now, cracks in the containment vessel of units one, two, and three. And if those cracks grow or there's an explosion, we're talking a full-blown Chernobyl, something even beyond Chernobyl. Something beyond Chernobyl, even though these reactors aren't active in the way that Chernobyl was when it exploded? That's right, because of the fission products that are stored in the reactor. We have to realize that there are tons, hundreds of tons of nuclear waste still stored in these cores that could then be lofted into the environment. The French physicists analyzed it and said it should be an accident level six out of seven. Chernobyl being seven, this being six, and a Three Mile Island being five. So we're very close now to the point of no return. We're not there yet. And that's why I think the last ace in the hole is the Japanese Air Force. The military at some point may have to take over. We may have to bury these reactors in concrete, just like we did at Chernobyl, sandbagging the reactor at, with 5,000 tons of concrete, boric acid, and sand. So is, is that the best case scenario at this point? Well, the best case scenario is there is no massive uncontrolled release of fission products because the containment vessels hold. If we have a total meltdown at all three reactors and the vessels hold, then we're in a stable situation. We're hanging by our fingernails, but it's stable. That's the best case scenario. Well, but we now have cracks in all three containment vessels, and so it's not certain how stable those vessels are.